Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Rada. Today we are doing computer science A level paper 3 and the chapter is flip flop. Okay, now the student is supposed to understand how to construct the flip flop. And in flip flop, we are going to look at the SR flip flop and the JK flip flop and describe the roles of flip flop as a data storage element. I mean as a memory. Next, earlier for SC level you have studied combinational logic. That is, you input data in an electronic circuit, you input data and you get a certain output. So combinational circuit, the present output depends on the present input. So whatever you will input, this is what you will get as output. This is combinational circuit. Now, in HSE, we learn sequential circuit. How sequential circuit is different from combinational circuit? The present output not only depends on the present input, but also on the past output. So it means that the output not only depends on the input, but also it depends upon the previous output. What was the previous output will be used as an input to decide what the output will be. So this is where storage comes, memory. Think about a tank. If you have a tank, okay, you, in, you put water and the water goes out, so nothing is being stored. Where in, whereas in this case, let's say water is coming to the tank, so this is our tank, and water is going out. But some of the water that is going out is re-input in the system, so the water will be stored, so storage. So we are looking at sequential circuit, how data is stored, how with this sequential circuit will form the memory element. That is the RAM, is formed with this sequential circuit, that is a flip-flop is used to form the memory element. So again, how combinational circuit is different from sequential circuit? In combinational circuit, we input, we get output. For different combination of input, we get different combination of output. But with sequential circuit, there is an additional thing. What is additional? The output is reused as an input. So since the output is reused as an input, we can call that a memory. It is stored data. So sequential circuit is different from combinational circuit because it has a, a feedback it uses the feedback to store the information next so we'll be looking at the SR flip-flop the SR flip-flop can store data it store a binary digit so it is a bi-stable scale so the SR flip-flop can store a bit so a bit can be either a 1 or a 0. So if the SR flip-flop can store a binary digit, it can store either a 0 or a 1. So it will be a memory unit. Okay, using the flip-flop we can store data. Next, before we study the SR flip-flop, the student is supposed to know some basic logic gates. Which gates? The OR gate. So O gate means addition. Okay, so we are adding A and B. Let's say the output is P. So when we add A and B, this is what we get. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1. Now, taking the O gate into consideration, we can construct the NO gate. NO gate, what we will do? We will inverse the output P. So all the 0, 0 will become 1. Sorry, we are 1 and 1 will become 0. So we inverse all this. Now let's look at the end gate. End gate means multiplication. So we multiply AB. So when we multiply the combination of AB, 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0. So this is what we get. Now taking the end gate, we can construct the NAND gate. We inverse the output P. When we inverse it, we get 1110. Okay, so this basic 
no gate and none gate will be used to construct our SO flip-flop SO latch now for the SO latch we have two types of SO okay we have the SO which is built with a no gate and the SO which is built with a NAND gate so it's very easy to draw this okay you draw the you draw the SO flip flop to draw the SO flip flop we have to use a two no gates okay so two no gates okay then uh, let me help you so you have here the no gate and another no gate now our two input in this case will be s and r so s and r with a no gate we start with a no gate we put s below and r above our these are our two inputs if we use s r as our input we'll have four combination for two inputs we have four combinations zero 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 one one zero and one one but the output let's see this output q we will we have to we have to assume the q to be either a zero or to be a one okay so this is our present state so we assume firstly let's say the q is a zero a one then we'll assume it to be a one then we put our present state we will get our next state okay so let's see what happens with the s or wait let's see what happens i erase all okay let's see what happened with the s or no gate when we put s0 and r0 first we assume that a q is 1 if we assume q is 1 then q dash will be z 0 so q dash is 0 now if we put these as inputs what we will get we'll get the output as the our next our output will be q 1 and q dash 0 so if we assume 1 0 we get the output 1 0 so this is what we call the remember state and again if now in this another case we assume let's say we assume wait we assume q 0 if we assume q 0 then q dash will be 1 okay so if we put this in our system you will see that q will remain the same and q dash will be one so this is another state we call that the remember state next now we change s let's put s zero if we put s zero and r one and at one time we assume q is one and q dash will be zero our output will be Q will become 0 and Q dash will become 1. Now, this state we call that reset state. Why? Because Q has become 0. Now, if we keep S0 and R1, but in this case we assume Q to be 0 and Q dash to be 1, again we'll see we get the same result. Q becomes 0 and R becomes 1. And we call that the reset state. So whatever the value of Q, either Q or Q dash, the result is always Q becomes zero. That's what we call the reset state. Now another possibility, let's say R is Q is S is one. Let's say R uh, S is one and R is zero. Now we have to assume Q is one. If we assume Q is one, and q dash will be zero then we'll see that the output q is always one and q dash will be zero and this state we call that a set state now again if we put s1 and r0 
if we put q1 and q-0 we'll see that we always get q as 1 we call that the set state now last option if we put s1 and r0 sorry r1 whatever we put in q or q dash if we put q as 1 q dash as 0 unfortunately we get q0 and q dash 0 so this is what we call an invalid state because q and q dash should not be the same and we if we again put s1 r1 and q we put 0 and q dash we put 1 we always get the answer q0 and q dash 0 so this is what we call an invalid state so let's do it once again let me explain it again i erase all what i'm saying that for we have two type of sr we have sr no and sr none correct so sr no is formed with the no gate we have two no gate okay and these two no gates we have two inputs s and r you can see s and r are our two inputs now and the output from this gate q will go to the this gate and q dash will go to this one so easy to draw it's not difficult to draw it's very easy to draw this you can do like this okay okay wait mm. Let me erase all. Okay, yes. So again, we have our two input S and R. So we have four possibilities. What are our four possibilities? Let's look at it. S can be zero, R can be zero. S can be zero, R can be one. S can be one, R can be zero. And S can be one, and R can be one. But for each possibility, we have to analyze Q. Q have two options. When S and R are 0, then Q can be 0 or Q can be 1. So if we put Q, wait, if we put Q 1, Q dash will automatically be 0. And if we put Q 0, Q dash will be 1. So if we look at this combination, S0, R0, and we assume Q is 1, Q dash will be 0, you will check that Q will, the output will be 1, and Q dash will be 0. We call that a remember state, why? Because Q and Q dash has remained the same. Okay? Now, another possibility, we keep S and R. 0, 0. But in this case, we assume Q0 and Q-1. If we do this assumption, you will see that Q and Q- dash will remain the same. It will be 0, 1. So again, this one we call that the remember state. Now, let's take another possibility. S is 0, R is 1. Okay. If we put S is 0 and R is 1, whatever is Q? Either Q is a, a 1, okay, or Q is a 0, the output is always Q will be 0. We call that the reset state. So if we put S0, R1, and then Q1, Q dash will become 0, the output will be 0 for Q, and Q dash 1, we call that the reset state. And if we put S0, R1, Q0, Q-1, the output will always be 0 and 1. We call that the reset state. Next, if we put S1 and R0, at one time we can assume Q1 and Q- as 0. The output Q will become 1. When Q becomes 1, we call that the set state. Another possibility is we put S1, R0, 
we assume q0 q dash will become 1 we will get the same output as q is 1 we go to the set state now again if we put s1 r1 at one time we put q1 and q dash 0 the output here q becomes 0 r become q dash becomes 0 we call that an invalid state again s1 r1 q we assume it's 0 q dash will be 1 the output will be 0 and 0 we call that an invalid state so it's not difficult to remember it's easy to remember s or no gate we put the s below or above then we put our q and q dash so remember this becomes the remember state this one the set state reset state this one the set state this one the invalid state now let's analyze now the no gate so is formed by the no gate you can see you have two no gate non gate sorry sorry so so is being formed from the non gate we have two NAND gates, okay, and here you can see that we have our two input S is above, R is below, and we have Q and Q dash at our, our output. So the output Q will go to this gate, and the output Q dash will go to this gate. Now, when S is zero, R is zero, we have to assume one time Q R is one. And uh, when q is 1, q dash will be 0. And in that case, the output is 1, 1. q and q dash will be 1, 1. It is an invalid state. Now again, when s is 0 and r is 0, we assume q is 0 and q dash will be 1. We will get the output q as 1 and q dash as 1. It will be the invalid state. Now, let's look at another possibility. s is 1 r is 1 now q at one time we put it 1 and then we put q dash as 0 you will see here the output q will be 1 and q dash will be 0 because q is 1 we call that a set state so next q is 0 always 1 we assume q 0 and we assume q dash 1 you will see that we get the same output Q is 1 and Q dash 0, we call that a set state. So whatever the value of Q here, 0 or 1, you will see, you will always get Q as 1 as an output. And this is called a set state. Now another possibility, S is 1, R is 0. Again you will see that at one time you assume Q as 1, Q dash 0. And at next possibility, Q as 0 and q dash as 1 you will get the output q is always 0 and this we call that the reset state but when q is 0 remember that q dash will be 1 another possibility is when we put s1 or 1 so at one time we assume q as 1 and q dash as 0 you will see that you will be at a remember state Q and Q dash will remain the same. Q and Q dash one zero remain the same. We call that the remember state. Next, S is one, R is one. We assume Q zero and we assume Q dash as one. You will get the same output Q zero and Q dash as one. We call that the remember state. So it's not difficult. You can easily memorize this. Let's do it one once again. So. What you should remember in the S or no gate, we put S below or here Q and Q dash. So the first thing to remember is we write the combination 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now remember in the SR flip flop with a no gate, you have remember. So whatever you put for Q and Q dash, it will remember it will remain the same. Then again, if you put one zero, you get one zero. If you put zero one, you will get zero one. So it's called a remember state. 
Then the next possibility, when you put S and R as 0, 1, whatever will be Q, either 0 or 1, okay, whatever, let's put it X, X means it can be 0 or 1, the output Q will always be 0, so we call that the reset state. Next possibility, third possibility, if we put S1 or 0, whatever we put, we assume for Q, either a 0 or a 1, the output Q is always a 1. So we call that a set state. And the last possibility, Q1, sorry, S1 or 1, whatever we put, assume for Q, either a 0 or a 1, the output Q and Q dash is always 0, 0, and we call that an invalid state. The things to remember is S or no gate, put S below, and the first possibility is remember, then reset, then set, then invalid. So recap, we recap easily, okay, so that it's easy to remember. S or no gate, we put S below, R here, Q and Q dash, then the first possibility is remember, ok, what is remember, whatever we put for Q and Q dash, it will remain the same, remember, whatever we put in Q and Q dash, it will remain the same, and 0, 1, so 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, so remember, then reset, set, invalid. Now for the NAND gate, what happens? This two swap. Remember, okay, it, the order changes. We get uh, remember from below. So, so remember, for the uh, NAND gate, we write the combination the same 0, 0, okay, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, one zero and one one. So two inputs S and R. There are four possibilities. But we start from below. Remember? Okay, we have remember. Then reset. Then set. Then invalid. Okay. So it's not difficult to remember. Remember for no gate, it's remember. For no gate, it is wait. Okay, for no gate, it is remember. Okay, reset, set, invalid. For non gate, remember from below. Reset, set, invalid. So I hope you can do with it. Next is we go for the next slide now. Now here again, we have draw the no gate. So no gate, you can see you draw the this one, this one, then you put S, you put R, then Q, Q goes to this one, Q dash goes to this one, so it's not difficult to remember, you can easily make out. Okay, now one thing to remember, you put 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, your four possibilities. And the order is remember. Reset, set, and invalid. Remember means when you put Q and Q dash at your initial state, it remains the same. Q and Q dash remain the same. If you put 1, 0, it remains the same. Reset means whatever you put for Q and Q dash, Q will become 0. And set state means whatever you put for Q and Q dash, Q will become 1. And invalid state, whatever you put for Q and Q dash, Q and Q dash will be 0, 0. So, using the no gate, you can work this out. Okay, next slide. Let's have a look at the next slide. I erase all. I go to my next slide. Now, here we are using NAND gate. So, this is my NAND gate. I draw my NAND gate. This is my RSS, now this time 
above R below and the output Q Q will go to this one Q dash will go to this one so it's easy to draw it and prerequisite you're supposed to know the NAND gate and in the NAND gate unless that both input is 1 1 then it becomes 0 otherwise it will be 0 now here things to remember you have 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and our assumptions every time we assume if we assume q and q dash one time q is one another time is zero we get q and q dash as one one so it's our invalid state set state reset state and remember so the first one invalid because whatever we put as q q dash q and q dash will become one one and if whatever we put q and q dash one time we put zero zero one zero zero one q will become one this is what we call the set state so whatever we put for q and q dash one zero q will become zero this is what we call the reset state and last one remember if we put q and q dash as one zero it will remain the same one zero if we put zero one it will remain zero one this is what we call remember state so the things to note is in the non gate we have in we have from below you can remember reset set and invalid so let's erase all this erase sorry we put this one yeah now we go to our next slide okay all the exam questions that we are going to look at now you can take note these are the exam questions we are going to discuss okay so let's have a look at the exam questions next slide so this one is easy okay so a b this is a no gate no gate means you you add and then you inverse if you add zero zero then the you add them zero, zero plus zero is zero, inverse it becomes one. Add them zero one becomes one, then the inverse will be zero. Add them becomes one, the inverse will be zero. Add them it is one, the inverse will be zero. So we check the answer, it's correct. We go to our next slide now. So next slide you can see now this is a no gate. Okay, but it is SR no gate it's not difficult okay what you can see now here from here things to remember that you have your s and r as your inputs so this is my input this is my q my output the output q go to this one the q dash to this one q dash go to this one now things to remember is S and R, we have four possibilities 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Things to remember is that we have remember and then we have the first one is remember, then we have reset, then we have set, and then we have our invalid state things we did earlier so remember reset set and in valid okay so let's get back to this one we erase erase in this line so this we have already covered Here. Remember, we already covered this. Okay, so SR the no gate. Okay, so 0, 0 means remember. Remember means whatever we input will keep, we'll keep the same. 0, 1 is our reset state, this Q becomes 0. And one zero become our set state, 
this q becomes 1 and 1 1 is our invalid state okay we are done with this now let's try the exam question okay exam question go below okay, this is our exam question we try it when I do okay let's see what happens now so S and R initial state is is given to you Q and Q dash the initial state is given S and R is 1 1 and S is 1 R is 1 Q is 1 Q dash is 0 now what they have done they have changed S to be 0 if we change S to be 0 and R is already 0 what happened in this case? 0, 0, you remember? 0, 0 is what? 0, 0 is... 0, 0 is remember. So, it will remember this state. Q and Q dash will be remembered. It will be kept the same. So, this is 0, 0 means remember. Remember. Okay, so remember. Okay, we have remembered this state. We have kept Q and Q dash the same. Now, next state is what? We have changed R. Now it is 0, 1. So what is 0, 1? 0, 1 is our reset state. Okay, 0, 1 is reset. Reset. Reset means Q0 and Q dash will be 1. This is our reset state. Now we have changed R to be 0. Now 0, 0 again when is our remember state. What is it? Remember. So we remember whatever is Q and Q dash, we remember it. We keep it the same. This is our remember state. Now we have changed R to 1 now. We get a 1 1. So when S and R is 1 1, we call that an invalid state. Invalid state. So what will happen? This Q and Q dash will be both become 0. We call that an invalid state. Okay, so let's look at the let let's look at the answer. It was not difficult. Let's have a look at the answer now. Yes, you can see that S R was given, Q and Q dash as initial state was given. So when S and R is zero zero, what we call this? We call that remember state. So remember means you keep Q and Q dash the same. And when S is 0, R is 1, we call that reset state. Reset means Q is 0. When Q is 0, R will be 1. And if we put S, R again 0, 0, we call that remember. So it will remember whatever Q and Q dash is. It keeps it the same, remember. Now, if we change S and R to be 1, 1, what does this mean? An invalid state. So Q and Q dash will be 0, 0. It's called an invalid state. So it was not difficult, it's easy if you practice it. Next, let's look at another question. So the next question is easy. You have a no none gate now. So we are doing none gate. What none means? You multiply them and then you inverse them. Zero times zero is zero. Inverse becomes one. Okay. And uh, zero times one is zero. Inverse is 1. Zero 1 times 0 is 0. Inverse is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Inverse is 0. So let's check the answer. Let's go for the next. Yes, that's done. It's good. Okay. Now let's look at the next question. Yeah, this is interesting now. You have a SR flip flop but using a NAND gate. Okay. Earlier we were using no gate, now we are using non gate. So it's simple to remember now non gate. The S is above as input, then we have R. Okay, S goes to this one, R goes to this one, our Q is here, Q goes to this gate, then our Q dash is here, this one goes to this one. Okay, so we have our two output Q and Q dash. Okay, it's not difficult. Now, things to remember now. Remember one thing, for 
done with you have your r and s 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 this one becomes you remember remember and this one becomes our reset and this one becomes our set and this one becomes inva invalid okay so we start from video remember reset set and invalid now let's try this one sr is given and we assume q and q dash oh, sorry q and q dash also is given now what happens now with okay what happens now when s and r is 1 1 when s and r is 1 1 it is our remember state so this is being remembered q and q dash is being remembered okay you agree with me so 1 1 means remember remember means q and q dash are kept the same okay now 0 1 what 0 1 means 0 1 means it's a set state. Set state means Q becomes 1 and Q dash becomes 0. So then 1, 1. 1, 1 means, means remember. Remember. So it will remember whatever Q was and Q dash. So it will keep the same Q and Q dash. Last state is 0, 0. 0, 0 is an invalid state. But invalid state in this case 1, 1. Q and Q dash will be 1, 1. So Q and Q dash cannot be the same. So it is an invalid state. I hope you have, you have understood. Next now. We clear the slide. Oh, what happened? Erase or wait. Erase all. We go for the next slide. Okay. We have checked the answers. Okay. We go for the next slide. So next slide it tells us okay it tells us one of the combination of the truth table are not allowed. Not allowed means in body. So state the values of S and O that should not be allowed and justify your reason. So which value of S and O is not allowed? It's easy. S and O okay should not be the same s and r should not be the same it should not be zero zero sorry sorry yes s and r should not be zero zero why because it produces q and q dash to be the same q and q dash is the same it is one one so q and q dash cannot be the same it should be the complement so this combination for s and r zero zero gives you an invalid uh output that is unstable so in sr flip-flop you can see sr large there is a problem we get an invalid state we get an unstable state to improve upon this later on we will draw the jk flip-flop the jk flip-flop comes to solve this problem next let's go for the next slide now, now this is a very interesting question Okay, you have uh, the NAND gate, and you can easily NAND means you multiply, then you reverse it. Okay, if you multiply and reverse it, what you will get? You multiply zero zero zero, you reverse it one 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 zero. We go for the next slide now. Okay, next slide is supposed to be. I think I missed something. Yes, oh, this one. Now, here in this case, we have three inputs. What are the three inputs? A, B, and C. And it is again a NAND gate. NAND gate means you multiply and then you reverse. If you multiply all this, you get zero. But when you inverse it, you will get it 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1. Except the third one, if you multiply, you get a 1, and the inverse will be a 0. 
so this was easy we are done with this okay done next now yes we are done with this uh, this one is interesting also let's look at this one this is a non gate okay and uh, non gate things to remember is non gate okay you have the s and r zero 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 one one zero and one one okay the non gate you remember we go for remember then reset then set then invalid okay these are things you should remember now what is given s and r is given and we are it's also given q and q dash now what is happening the next state is one 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 is what remember so remember we have to remember q and q dash zero one next is zero one zero one is set what set means that q is one and q dash will be z zero next state one 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 is remember so we remember q and q dash what is q and q dash one zero so we keep it one zero okay now this state zero 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 is our invalid state invalid state where q and q dash becomes the same okay so let's cross check the answer we are done with it okay that's good we go for the next question now next question is the final rule shows a problem q and q dash is one yes explain this problem what is this problem q and q dash cannot be the same they are complement so let's look at the answer yes q and q dash have the same value one one how come q and q dash have the same value it should not be because they are complement for each other so this sr flip-flop is unstable at this state there is one state which is unstable so later on i'll show you how we develop the gk flip-flop to overcome this unstable problem next let's look at another question uh, now comes the famous jk okay our famous jk is there now how you draw the jk flip-flop is very easy first you draw the sr okay you can see this is my sr okay you can see this is my sr now things to remember the output from q goes to another NAND gate and this output goes to another NAND gate okay I help you it's not difficult to draw it's easy first what you do you draw the NAND gate for the wait this is a NAND gate this is a NAND gate okay this is our Q, this is our Q dash. This one like this. This one go to this one. This one go to this one. So this is pretty our SR flip-flop. Now to overcome this problem, what we have to do, we have to introduce another non gate here. Wait. And another non gate here. I can't draw the dot properly. I hope you have understood. And we introduce another input, a third input, we call that the clock. The clock. Okay. Sorry. I think I need the eraser. Yes. Let's introduce the clock here. Wait. Need the pen. The clock. So the clock will be input in this gate and the clock pulse will be input in this gate. Now we have instead of S and R now we have the G and the key. The two signal will enter. Then we also have the clock. Now since in the JK flip flop we have three inputs, the G, the key, and the clock. So you have your G, you have your key, and you have the clock. Okay? But 
the output from the queue will go this way around, we enter this gate. And the output from Q dash will go this way around and go to this one. So it's not difficult to draw. I try it again for you. You must practice it. Here is all. So I start my JK flip flop. Remember, JK flip flop have three inputs, but first of all, let's draw the SR. So it's come from the basic SR. So here's my basic SR. Okay. Okay. This is my Q. This is my Q dash. This one go to this one. This one go to this one. Okay. Then I have another NAND gate here. Another NAND gate here. This one go this way. This one. Then I have my clock as an input CK. CK will go to this one. This one. Then I have my G. Then I have my key. The Q will go in this one, and Q dash will go to this one. So my SR and the whole stuff becomes my JK flip flop. Okay, so I erase everything. You can see now it's easy to draw, it's not difficult. But for me to remember one thing if I have three inputs, that is the G, the clock, and the key, I should have eight possibilities. Okay. So let's see how how we look at the eight possibilities. So the eight possibilities will be like this: G, K, K, and the clock. So zero zero and zero 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 one zero one zero. So zero one two. This is free. Wait, wait, wait. I need my eraser. Oh, it's not working. Okay. So I need the pen again. Yeah. So zero 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 one means zero one two then three and four five six seven. So zero to uh, 7 makes 8 possibilities. So, this is my 8 possibilities. You should understand. Okay. Now, what I will try to do now for the 8 possibilities, uh, every time I will assume there are 2 possibilities. For each one, there will be 2 possibilities. One time I assume Q as 1 and Q dash as 0. Again, Q as 1, Q dash as 0. Q as 1, Q dash as 0, Q as 1, and Q dash as 0, Q as 1, Q dash 0, Q 1, Q dash 0, Q 1, and Q dash 0, Q 1, and Q dash 0. So, for the 8 possibilities, I have to multiply it by 2. I get 16 possibilities. Okay, 16 possibilities. Now, for when the clock is 0, I will not get any output, so I will ignore these possibilities. Okay, I will not work when clock is zero. I will only work when clock is one. Okay, these possibilities I will go, I will consider. Okay, when clock is one. So let's erase everything again. Wait. Everything erased. So, when clock is 1 now, I have 4 possibilities for the G and the key. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And for each possibility, I will have to consider, wait, I will have to consider, like for this one, 0, 0, clock is 1. I have two possibilities for Q. Either Q is a 1 or Q is a Z, 0. And next, JK. When JK is 0, 1, clock is always 1. I have two possibilities. JK is 1, 0. Clock is 1. I have two possibilities. JK is 1, 1. Clock is 1. I have two possibilities. 
No, this is not a combination that we are going to look at. Here is all. Okay. Now, things to remember. JK flip-flop is similar to the SR flip-flop. That is, you have your remember state, you have your reset state, you have your set state, and in this case, we don't have the invalid state, we have the toggle state. Okay? So, remember, okay, things to remember now. The upper part we will not consider. We put all our clock as one, we will consider clock one. And the J key, we will consider 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And for each possibility, we will have to consider the Q as 1, 0. Okay. So, the first one, when Q is 1, 0, our output will be 1, 0. We call that the remember state. When Q and Q dash is 0, 1, it will remain the same. We call the remember state as in the SR. And if we consider 0, 1, it's our reset state. That is, Q becomes Q become 0. If Q becomes 0, Q dash will be 1. And 1, 0 will become our set state. Q will become 1. And Q dash will become Z, 0. And last state, 1, 1, it was supposed to be invalid, but now with a JK flip-flop, it will be no longer invalid. It will be the reverse. 1, one 0 will become 0, 1. And 0, 1 will become 1, 0. Okay, recap now. Let's recap all. As I mentioned earlier, the possibility of clock 0 we will not consider. Okay, we will put our clock as 1. And then for the JK, we will put 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. 0, 0 is our remember state. 1, 0 is our reset state. Sorry, 0, 1 is our reset state. 1, 0 is our set state. 1, 1 is no longer an invalid, it is double state. Okay, so 0, 0, when we say remember, means for Q and Q dash. If Q and Q dash is 1, 0, it will remain the same. It is 0, 1, it will remain the same. And for the state 0, 1, whatever Q, L, Q, whether it is 1 or 0, it becomes a reset state, that is, Q becomes 0. If Q becomes 0, Q dash will become 1. And for 1, 0, we call that our set state. Set state means Q becomes 1, whatever Q was earlier. Either Q was 1 or 0, it becomes set now, from 1. If Q becomes 1, Q dash will be 0. And final state 1, 1 is our turbo state. Earlier in the SR, it was an invalid state. But now, if it is 1, 0, it becomes 0, 1. If it is 0, 1, it becomes 1, 0. So, we are done with the uh, JK flip-flop. You have to remember that JK flip-flop is similar to the SR flip-flop. Uh, which one? Similar to the SR flip-flop with uh, no gate. No gate. That is, 0, 0 gives you remember state. 1, 0 gives you the reset state. Uh, sorry, 0, 1 gives you the reset state. 1, 0 becomes a set state. And 1, 1 is a toggle state now, not invalid. Okay, we are done with it. Now, let's go for the next slide now. Okay. Yes. Now, if we want to work this question, it's not difficult. But before we go for this one, let's try to summarize this. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this one. Clock, we always take it as one. Clock one. Okay. We consider in this case. JK zero zero means remember. Remember means 
the initial state 1 0 will remain the same so 0 1 will remain the same 0 1 and next 0 1 if j and k are 0 1 means our reset state reset state in q becomes 0 so in this case q 0 if q is 0 q dash will be 1 now 1 0 is called our set state set state means q becomes 1 so q becomes 1 if q becomes 1 then q dash will be 0 whatever is our previous value of q and q dash last state if j and k are 1 1 j and k are 1 1 we call that a toggle state that is if the q and q dash is 1 0 it becomes 0 1 if it is 0 1 it becomes 1 0 now if we want to work this out you see the clock is 1 now what is given j and k 0 0 what 0 0 means ok 0 0 means I think we go to the previous one yes so let's look at it Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. So if G and K are zero zero, the clock should be one. So in this case, if Q and Q dash is one zero, we call that the remember state it is kept the same. Remember state whatever is q and q dash is remember it keeps the same. So g and k zero zero means remember whatever is q and q dash we keep it the same. Zero zero q and q dash we keep it the same. Now one zero g and k one zero means the the reset state that is q becomes zero and q dash becomes one. Okay. Now zero one. 0 1 jk 0 1 is called the reset state q becomes 0 and q dash become 1 whatever our input q and q dash becomes 0 1 is called the reset state now if we have 1 0 and 1 0 you can see that this will give us the, the set state that is q will become 1 whatever our input q and q dash Q will become 1. It is called the set state. Now, if Q and Q dash is 1, 1, Q and Q dash will becomes 1, 1. We call that a turbulent state. 0, 1 becomes 1, 0 becomes 0, 1. And 0, 1 becomes 1, 0. So it's not difficult to work this out. You can do it. Things to remember is remember, reset, set, and toggle state. We go for the next slide. But before we go, let's clean our slides. Okay, we go for the next slide. Now. So this we are we are done. This is a JK flip flop. Okay, zero zero means remember state. That is keep Q and Q dash the same. Keeps Q and Q dash the same. Zero one means uh reset state reset means q becomes zero so q becomes zero if q becomes zero q dash becomes one one zero means the set state set state means q becomes one when q becomes one q dash becomes zero one one means a toggle state toggle state begin means um, toggle state means q and q dash will change the value so if it is one zero here it should become zero one. There is a mistake, you should correct it. So this one zero one becomes one zero. Okay, we are done with it. We move to the next slide now. Explain why JK is an improvement on SR. So SR has some problem. What was the problem? We had some invalid combination. Okay. And uh, where both Q and Q dash have the same value. So we had to improve, improve the SR. We, 
we we created the JK flip flop. In the JK flip flop, we does not allow Q and Q dash to be the same. Why we introduce another input, the clock? Okay, the clock is introduced. The clock pulse is incorporated for synchronization to prevent the invalid state where Q and Q dash will be the same. Next, let's look at this question. Another type of flip flop, uh, apart from the S of flip flop, is a JK flip flop. JK flip flop is an improvement upon the S of flip flop. What has improved? We have we have three inputs in the JK flip flop. We have the J, the K, and the third input is the clock pulse. Okay. Next, two problems with the SL that JK has to overcome. So what was the problem? The problems? Problem with the SL flip flop is there was a combination that is not valid. Okay. Where the Q and the Q dash have the same value. They should be complement, but they are having the same value. So the JK flip flop does not allow Q and Q dash to be the same value. Okay, it prevents this, they are complementary. Another second problem is that the inputs may not arrive at the same time. So JK flip flop introduces the clock pulse to synchronize the inputs. Next Give an extra input for the JK flip flop, as you as we mentioned, it's a clock. It's a clock pulse. It's another input. Next, what is the advantage of the JK flip flop? What is the advantage of the JK flip flop? The one one combination, okay, changes the output into a logical complement. That is, avoid the unstable state. Okay, there is no unstable state. So the invalid state are overcome. In the JK flip-flop, we have overcome the unstable state. We have a stable state now. Describe the role of flip-flop. Why do we study flip-flops in computer? Flip-flops are used to remember data, the binary bits, the binary digits. So it is used to store single bits, a zero or a one. And when we are able to store a bit, zero and one, we can form a memory. So the memory that RAM is formed from the basic building blocks of the flip and the flop. So the flip flop are the basic unit for creating the memory. That's why we studied this in this chapter. So flip flop can store either 0 and 1. Computer used to store bits 0 and 1. So flip flop, flop therefore used to store the bits. And they are flip flops are used to create the memory. They are memory units. Okay, I've already looked at this. You can also look some video in YouTube. Other friends have them. Very good videos. And now we have come to the end of this chapter. I hope you like it. I know it was long, lengthy, but uh, I, I hope it was useful, fruitful for your study. Okay, bye. See you in next lesson.